Good evening to you and thank you for joining us tonight at 9. I'm Britt Moreno, an emotional plea from families. For more communication from Austin police during police shooting investigations, the Public Safety Commission discussed these protocols with APD leadership during tonight's monthly meeting. KXAN's Brianna Hollis tells us about the communication change police are looking into. First, we thought my brother was still alive, and we were frantically calling hospitals. This is the brother of Rajan Munasinga. Police shot and killed him in November of last year. He was the best of us. Rajan was standing outside of his home, pointing a rifle inside when police shot him. Body camera video shows an officer getting out of his patrol car, ordering Rajan to drop the gun, and the officer firing. Drop the gun! <laughs> As the officer's use of force in this case remains under investigation, on Monday, Rajan's brother shared concerns about how police communicated about the process after the shooting happened. They gave us a card and said, if you want to talk, you can reach out to us and you can talk to us. But since then, we have not had any further interactions with them. APD protocol directs the department to connect family members with a victim services coordinator as soon as possible. Support, information about resources, a little bit of information about what may happen with the investigation. Commissioners, though, had questions about protocol after that first point of contact. What are our touch points? A, B, C, D. There's nothing in policy that says first day do this, second day do this, third day do this. That it's a fluid situation. The department also says it doesn't always make sense to bring a victim services staff to a scene, but interim chief Henderson will work to create more specific protocol to determine when it would be useful. And so I wouldn't want to institute something that says victim services will always be called and respond to the scene if there is no one that needs that supportive resource, because now we've taken that resource potentially away from somebody. We can identify criteria for, for calling out victim services and ensuring that they respond to the scene. Brianna Hollis, KXAN News. APD says it also communicates with family members before releasing body camera video to the public. The protocol here is to allow the family to view the video before it goes out to the public. APD releases that video publicly within 10 business days of every police shooting. 